Now it is going to be a warm night. Steve, a hot bike ride. It's going to be a very hot bike ride, but you've yeah. been geeking out all day. Oh. Especially with the temperatures on the coast. Yeah, it's That's huge. It's crazy. Yeah. We're setting records all over the place. Now keep in mind, some of these coastal locations, they don't have official reporting okay. stations, so it's hard to find the actual all-time records. But I wouldn't be surprised if some coastal locations today up near Seaside, Cannon Beach, saw their all-time warmest June day ever. Wow. That goes way back. What but a year. And here it is again. I got to go back to this shot again, Chris. Live in Seaside, 100 degrees at our location here. What a beautiful afternoon along the coast. And even down in Lincoln City right now, 94 degrees. Beautiful sunshine out there. Warm po folks on the coast. You know, I've got a brother that's down there in his beach cabin right now in Lincoln City says he's definitely feeling that 94 degrees. Take a look at that time lapse today here in Portland. Beautiful sunshine, wall to wall from the morning all the way through the evening. It's going to be a very, very warm evening tonight. And temperatures right now, 98 degrees in your 5 o'clock hour. Now, we've got a light east wind here actually gusting to 21 miles per hour at the airport. And I think that actually has kept Portland's temperature down just a little bit. We may not get to 100 today. We'll see here in the next hour or so. But taking a look at these temperatures right now, 98 in Portland, 101 in Salem, 100 in Corvallis, 90s along the coast, 97 in Portland, and 99 in the Dow. So all in all, a very warm, more like late July temperatures than June. And current temperatures, again, upper 90s to near 100 up and down the valley. Cooled down a little bit at Cannon Beach, down to 79. Don't forget, we have a uh, heat advisory in effect through 9 p.m. Sunday, up and down the I-5 corridor, out to the Coast Range and up to the Cascades. And an excessive heat warning in the western end of the gorge from Bonneville back down to Corbett. That runs through tomorrow afternoon. Your evening planner for tonight, if you're going out on the town, 92 degrees at 7 o'clock, and we don't cool down much. If you don't have air conditioning, Boy, it's going to be a tough ride overnight tonight. Low temperatures in the mid-60s. Our big weather pattern shows that ridge building, and then it flattens out just a little bit on Monday, allows some marine air in off the coast. But then that ridge rebuilds again at the end of the week, bringing nice weather back into my forecast. Rain and cloud forecast, I'll just step out and let this run. As you can see, all we have is clear skies across the northwest. But along the coast tomorrow morning, you see those morning clouds move up the coast. And I expect a much cooler day along the coast, 20, maybe even 25 to 30 degrees colder along the coast tomorrow versus today. And then we keep it clear with just a chance of a few scattered thunderstorms up in the mountains. Coastal forecast on your Sunday morning fog south, partly cloudy north. Lincoln City, you'll be a good 30 degrees cooler tomorrow than you were today, but warmer on the northern Oregon coast. In the valleys, it's another hot day on your Sunday. Sunny and hot, that heat advisory continues. Temperatures right around 100 up and down the I-5 corridor. East side of the state, plenty of sunshine over there. A warm day. Madras will top out at 100. And in the Cascades in the gorge, heat advisory continues. That excessive heat warning actually continues. Look at that, 103 degrees at the Dalles. Even government camp in the upper 80s. And there's your seven-day forecast. Chris, sunny and hot on Sunday. We'll go 101 for a high. Monday, 82. We start to cool it down a little bit. And then Wednesday, Thursday, a push of marine clouds in here in the morning. And then we start to warm it back up to around seasonal normals by the end of the week. And it's important to know for people who want to cool off tomorrow, if you go to the yep. coast, the chances of it being cooler tomorrow yes. are actually higher than today. A lot of folks went to the coast today to get right. away from the heat in the valley. And it's Did, hotter there. And it's hotter there. Right. <laughs> right. Or as hot. But yeah, we will cool down quite a bit at the coast tomorrow. Okay. So enjoy. Awesome. Steve, yeah. thank you. <laughs> Well, coming up, a local man 